Welcome Mao Chom. So in today's video I am going to be wearing this really cheap wig and these really cheap elf ears and we're gonna try and become Ian from Onward. I personally really liked Onward. Uh, it was sad and I cried a lot but I loved it. No spoilers but let's get into this look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this sky blue body paint from Mayron and I'm gonna cover my entire face and also the ears. I'm going to try and get it as smooth as possible, so I added about two to three layers of the body paint, but um, in a very thin layer, so that didn't get too like opaque and start cracking. Next I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics, bring me back to Brazil eyeshadow palette and I'm going to get some darker blue shades and kind of just mix all of them together to start contouring my face. He has a long face so luckily I got that too, but I'm going to contour it to just add some more depth into his face. And I'm also going to be adding some around the nose and around the chin. The next thing I'm going to do is actually take a dark blue body paint from Mayron. It's just in the color blue and I'm going to go ahead and actually add that into the ears to add some more depth into the ears and, you know, make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pink eyeshadow from that same eyeshadow palette and I'm going to add it to the cheeks and the nose and kind of just warm it up because if you look at the design of the character, they do have pink in their skin tone. Then I'm actually going to take a dark blue body paint, the same one I used in the ears, and I'm actually going to add his lips. His lips are a little bit thinner than mine, so I'm not filling them in entirely, um, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here just to give me the appearance. I'm also going to be flicking some of the paint up at the corner so it looks like I have a natural little smile going on. The next thing I'm going to do is keep that same blue and make the eyebrows. His eyebrows are a little bit bigger than me and very um, blocky, so I'm going to be adding them in. They're not going to be perfect because I'm not really good at eyebrows, but they're there. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a few more of those blue shades and add them to the eyes to contour them a little bit to make them look a little bit bigger and just bring them out. Nothing too extreme because he's not wearing any eyeshadow obviously. And then I'm actually going to grab some pink body paint and add that to the ears. The eyeshadow won't stick to the ears so I just grabbed a little bit of body paint and just kind of mixed it in there. Then I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and add it to my lash line. I'm not adding any mascara because I don't need my eyelashes to show up any more than they already are. So I'm just going to add that to the lash line just to make sure that they are visible. Then I'm grabbing some white body paint and adding it to the bottom lash line and getting a white eyeliner and putting it in the waterline. That's just to open my eyes more because he does have really big eyes. Then I'm grabbing that same dark blue and adding a little bit of freckles here and there. They're not that visible, but he does have them. Then I'm grabbing a white eyeliner and I'm going to be sketching out the design of his shirt and it's just a very simple collared shirt. And then I'm grabbing that same blue that we used on the face and I'm filling in the neck and then the little bit of his chest that you can see. And then I'm going to be adding some shadows around it using some more of the same colors of blue eyeshadow I used to contour. It's just to start it out so I have an idea of what I need. Then I'm grabbing a red body paint and I'm going to be filling in the entire chest. I will show you half of it and then I'm going to do the other half the same exact way. So I filled in the biggest portion of the shirt first, leaving the color clear so I don't get lost. Then I'm going to be taking some different um, shades of black and red, dark red eyeshadow to kind of make a shadow where the color is so you have an idea of where it's located. After the shadows are in, that's when I fill in the top portion, and as you can see, now you can tell the difference between the two and that they are two separate pieces. It doesn't get lost. Once that's done, I took the same dark blue that I have been using and I actually used it to fill in the plaid design. I put lines going all the way down and then lines going across, and then after that I took a smaller brush and added, two, or added more lines on the side to make it look like a plaid. I 
and then obviously I did the same thing onto that collar section and then I repeated the same thing on the other side and there you go. So really this is a simple look but I had a lot of fun doing it. Again I love the movie and let me know what you think of the movie and what you think of this little cosplay body paint thing. I had a lot of fun making it and I actually have thought about doing barley. I'm not quite sure yet but let me know what you think. Maybe I'll do a uh, blazy or something the dragon. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be notified of when I upload next. Just hit that bell, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.